Good morning, guys. Um, welcome to another morning with me, Mr. Eve's vlog. I have totally got a crazy story for you. So we've got to get there in eight seconds. If you are a mystic, if you like the art, if you like dancing and drama and flow arts and magic and tarot and divination and you know if you like all that kind of stuff yoga spirituality astrology there's a lot going on there if you like all of that stuff then you're in the right place and i am working really hard to bring you a lot more energy in these videos um i've even i changed up my set if you if you notice if you've watched any of the other videos and if you have thank you so much i appreciate it um doing a lot of study and doing a lot of work on this channel so let's get on with it um it starts last night so last night okay well back up the night before last it was a full moon in scorpio no Full moon in Scorpio, a lot of focus around Scorpio, and last night I'm pulling my bed down to sleep, and there's a big-ass scorpion on the wall. Now, there are scorpions here. I have been bitten by them three times, and one was a really big one. Um, on Halloween, that's a whole nother trippy story, which actually links up to this one. Um, so... Scorpio. <laughs> Focus on the scorpion. And, the, and he was a big one. He was like big. And, you know, I catch him and I put him in the jar. And I'm also Scorpio rising. So another focus on Scorpio. And I'm about to go throw him out and something stops me and I'm like, you, you, you. Like it, it just instantly connected and I'm like you're a constellation you are Scorpio you are Scorpio you want to say something of course it did so I pulled a card now if you stay till the end I've got this really cool happening with the cards the cards are always fun and the repetitions of stuff is really really super cool so I get, I pull 10 of wands for the scorpion. Now, the 10 of wands in my deck is the 10 of clubs. I talked a little bit in the last video why I like these cards better because it doesn't really give you like this um, interpretation that might be tainted by, not tainted, but it is, it's painted by another artist. So with these cards, it's like you've got the 10, you've got the wands. Anyway, the association for me is also the Wheel of Fortune. 10 is the number of the Wheel of Fortune card. Also, well, this didn't come to me at that point, but I was like, the Wheel of Fortune is the first thing I thought of. And I was like, for Scorpio? Of course. Oh my God. That's, that's so perfect. So I put Sophie to bed and I'm like, I'm going to put on some slow music and I'm going to like scry with this scorpion. And so he's in the jar. I'm sitting there, I'm scrying and sometimes it's like, should I even say it? Would you even believe me? Like, <laughs> so anyway, I made contact, started talking to him, and um, and it was <laughs> right back to this flow, this swing. It's it's part of my yoga practice. It's part of my dance. So then the song comes on uh, by Alexa Sunshine Rose. That's like I I'm not gonna sing it. <laughs> I should sing it. Okay. I release control and surrender to the flow of love that would heal me. 
So yeah. <laughs> um, and so this is this is the whole song repeating. So literally the scorpion starts singing me this song and we start singing it together. And <laughs> I release control and surrender to the flow of love that will heal me. And so then I, I'm like, I contemplated like sleeping with him beside my bed, but then I was like, I didn't want to keep the poor little thing in the jar the whole night. So I threw him out in the jungle. I went to bed. Now my dreams were crazy. It's been a long time since I've had the, the teeth dream where my teeth are crumbling or falling out. And this one was really vivid, really super gross. It still kind of makes me a little wheezy when I think about it. Um, and of course with teeth, there's a lot of stuff going on with teeth, but I was really meditating on it with what I know now. And I have also learned a little bit more, um, not only are teeth like, I mean, it's the first part of digestion and we chew our food. We have to crush down our food with it, but it's also the sign of aggravation that like, you know, we show our teeth when we're angry, we show our teeth when we smile. Um, it is very, yeah, animalistic, show your teeth. So it's also how we talk, like we use our teeth to talk, so it's a part of mercury. And then electrically, I, I listened to this one guy, he was, he started out as a, um, an eye doctor, and then got an infection in his brain, super smart guy. Anyway, he links it all around, and I'm pretty sure he's on Thunderbolts Project, um, which I'm a big fan of. Anyway, he links it around to our teeth, they're kind of like our electrical circuits, right? And maybe I'll look up that video and do a card. That's the one thing I can do now, the cards. The links below. I don't even know if the affiliate links below are working, but that's the other thing. Stay till the end and there's going to be, oh, you don't have to stay till the end. That's in the description. You can just literally not even watch the video and just see what the surprise affiliate marketing shit is. <laughs> anyway, T. So this brings me, of course, back to electricity, back to Scorpio. Electrical flow brings me back to this podcast I had with Miu about electricity and <laughs> Sophie and I being a uh, overload. A lot of electrical things happen. I forgot to mention last night when I put the jar on the scorpion and he, I kind of did this to get him into, and the second I did that, the lights flashed. <laughs> like, no lights, lights. <laughs> I'm always like, when that shit happens at beautiful moments, I feel, I felt that electrical surge, right? I was like, yes, this is awesome. This is really, it, it, I mean, that was before I was like, and then I got him in the jar, and then I'm like, you are Scorpio. <laughs> yeah, this was my night. So I'm like, oh my God, we're going to have a great video. So um, you're probably going to hear my neighbors in the background. Um, <laughs> so moving along from the teeth, being electrical circuits, right? Are you, are you catching those links? Um, 
and electrical. Yeah. Then I start sweeping. In the morning, I'm again with this. I'm, I'm here, still here in this flow and everything that I've been thinking about. I'm meditating. Cleaning is very meditative for me. Um, and, you know, really I've only met like one other person that can really clean with me, and that's Lukey. Um, but cleaning is a very good practice. So I'm sweeping, I'm surrendering to the flow, I'm thinking about the flow. Sophie needs attention, so I like totally uh, helped her make her play phone into like, I totally upgraded it, it was awesome. I was like, mommy win. And I went back to sweeping, and then I'm like, um, working with the flow, the swing, and then I'm like, back to the flow arts, and, you know, I started thinking about how Lukey had the silks, and she was dancing in here, Caitlin uh, was my second apprentice and really liked doing pole dancing and we talked about having a pole here. And then I had this vision of me working the horses and having other flow artists. Like I saw people practicing hoops in the yard, people with the fire sticks in the yard, swords, me with the horses, then tattooing, then magic, and then divination, and then cards, and then crystal balls, and then, do you know where I'm going? Como was just like, all of that. I want all of that. <laughs> me too. That would be so righteous, thinking of some particular coma kids that would really, that really have inspired a lot of this. And I want them to come work with me, but I want everybody to stay with me, but you know, everybody's got their own lives to live. Um, <laughs> and I was like, an esoteric circus. I mean, center of mystic arts, right? Like, not just study esoteric, but like the flow arts and, and anyway, my brain, oh my God, I gotta get to the cards. We gotta go to the cards. This is an amazing spread, you guys. And I'm totally thinking about coma and the circus. So I'm like, all right, let's do a spread on this and see what it brings. And the, the center card, <laughs> the center card, ten of wands. I was like, no fucking way. That is so, and I, I have said this before, I shuffle those cards before and after I use them. And like, I'm playing poker. So they get shuffled. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Okay, so I start really looking a little bit more into this card um, and the tin. And now the tin is also earth, which is Malkuth in the Kabbalistic Tree of Life. So, and this card also, one of the things that I do is... Sometimes I'll go back and check on what is the, you know, tarot deck saying about this card. And when I was trying to figure out which ones were the arcana and when I was doing a lot of like deep study research on these cards and how I was going to use them. Um, yeah, I was like, this card is, is painted to be heavy. It is burdens. 
I mean, in the in the tarot deck, he's the guy that's holding ten wands, and there's like ten of them. There's like responsibility and burdens, and you know, carrying a heavy load. Um, and I was like, I mean, the reason why I put it in with the Wheel of Fortune cards is, well, all of the tens in the cards are something, Arcana. So they're like, I mean, tens are tens. And the Wheel of Fortune card happens to be ten. So it was just like, bam. That was the last one, I think, fell into place, too. Um, because what happened for me is instead of holding all of those ten wands, he is flowing with them. And I'm like, wow, look at that motherfucker go, right? With ten wands and staffs, like, so that card shined. So moving along, what's in the north? What do we got moving around up here? Ace of Wands. <laughs> it's like, whoo! Roots of the pyre, power of fire. Wands, like, and it's, a, it's right above it, right? There's the center and the north, so it's, yes. <laughs> okay, what's in the south? Eight of Hearts. I'm like, a heart, first of all, a heart always kind of, oh, it's a heart right at the bottom, you know, like, rooted in an eight. What is eight? Eight is the flow. Eight is the infinity. Eight is how we move when we're flowing, you know? Um, and, oh yeah, that's when, that's when all the coma kids started coming to me. It's like, all of a sudden, these particular people start coming into my head. And eight is also... Mercury and Hod in the Kabbalistic Tree of Life. So, typically this card is movement, but leaving love behind, the movement of emotions, moving out of, but I don't really see it as moving out of. I just see the flow and the movement of the emotions and it being a very... Like, rooted in movement. <laughs> like, the, anyway, moving along. Okay, so what's in the east? What's coming up over that hill at the break of dawn? Jack of hearts. Another heart and Jack. Immediately I see that kid with all those emotions. Boom. Coma kids. Boom. Are you still really connected to your inner child? Do you still really like to play? Do you feel electrical and sensitive? And do you feel like you feel everything really deeply? And it's like, you know, you get lost in the flow. So all you can do is throw your body into flow. This is the channel for you because I'm a coma kid too. Actually, I've devoted my whole life to coma. I am married to coma. And yeah, so I start thinking, who better to come up over that hill? And then I started feeling like, uh, um, Lord of the Flies, right, or something like the the crazy kids coming up over the hill to freaking win the day and to like conquer the evil. <laughs> yes. So, what's in the West? Seven of Hearts. Another heart. The first thing I noticed was. We have a moon of hearts, and we have the staff of fire. And I was like, whoa, that's a beautiful spread. Then 
I'm thinking of the card seven. Seven is mystery. Cups is like water, emotions. The mystery of what am I, what am I feeling? What am I feeling? Again, you have that, that flow. What, the, and the card is like, um, in the tarot is like, you've got the seven cups that are full cups and the choices, right? What, which cup do you want? And I'm like, I want them all. I, just, I came down into this incarnation and I'm like, I want to do it all. All of it. I want to do it all. I want to drink all of those cups. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's my choice. Um, but what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do in your life? I want to have an esoteric circus school of magic and divination and play and acting. And, and then I wrote Dream Big. And then I was like, let me look back into what the typical Seven of Cups card is. And my reference for that, I have, I have whittled it down to, as I've done my you know, deep study into it in my notes, whittled it down to just a few words. And um, two of them is like daydreaming and illusion. Seven is where that illusion comes from. Um, the, the mystery, the illusion, um, the veil, if you will. Uh, and seven is also um, Venus. And this picture is kind of, I mean, it, it's the woman that can't make up her mind. Um, you know, I don't know what I want to do. I want to do it all. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I know that I myself forget to do that a lot, but not, not since I've launched this channel. I have always hit that like and subscribe. And I've got a link tree. Um, and I have a podcast. I have spiritual journals that are published on Amazon, hashtag Mystic Eve. Um, I have a Patreon account, which really needs work. Um, I have a website that also really needs work. And yeah, <laughs> check it all out. It all, you know, maybe consider coming and helping with all this craziness. Um, you can just email me and I've got all of my links on Instagram and all that kind of stuff. So hashtag Mr. Keith, that's like my brand. Yeah, so thank you so much.